What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Recall Box running on the Rock 64 Pro from Pine64. Now this is an alpha build of Recall Box for this board, so there are some things that aren't working, some stuff that's not working at full speed, but overall I've tested it and it's an awesome little release for being one of the first to the public. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I do a lot of single board computer reviews. I've actually had this one here in my possession for about a month and I still haven't done a video on it, mainly because the software's kinda lacking. I actually pulled it out last night because I was planning on doing a review by the end of the week and I still am, but I found this online and I had to go ahead and test it out. So keep an eye on the channel because a full review will be coming up very shortly. Real quick, I want to go over the specs. For the CPU, we have the RK3399. This is a six core CPU. Four cores run at 1.4 gigahertz, two cores run at 1.8. Four gigabytes of LP DDR4 RAM, and I'm not exactly sure of the speed on it, but it is pretty snappy. And the GPU is the Mali T860 MP4, so it's a quad core GPU. There's lots of I.O. on this board, but right now I kind of want to get into testing out some recall box. But before I do, I just kind of want to throw this out there because I thought it was very interesting. I own a bunch of other RK3399 powered boards and I actually went to test this on some. Recently I've done a couple reviews on some Nano Pi boards. Recall box made for the Rock Pro 64 actually works on those and it works quite well. Like the Nano Pi T4, the Nano Pi M4, and the Nano Pi Neo 4, which that review will be coming up. This is an awesome little board. But in this video, everything you see will be running on the Rock Pro 64. One of the big reasons is it's actually designed for this board. Plus, it has DDR4 instead of DDR3 RAM. All right, so here we are. Recall Box is a beautiful interface. If you're not familiar with it, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the website. I'll also leave a link to where you can download this image if you want to test it out. I'm sure the guys over there really hate hearing this, but a lot of people know about RetroPie and they don't know about Recall Box. Recall Box is just like RetroPie, but in my opinion, it's more user friendly. So you gotta keep in mind that this is an alpha build. As far as I know, this is the first one available to the public, so there will be bugs. Right now, I could not get Wi-Fi working. To tell you the truth, I didn't even try Bluetooth or Ethernet. I just slapped some games on a USB drive and I'm running them from that. This also has Kodi Leia built in and it has hardware acceleration. It works pretty well. In this video, I just kind of wanted to show off some of the higher end emulators that the Raspberry Pi 3 doesn't handle very well, like Dreamcast, N64, PSP. I will test a PlayStation and MAME game also. And once again, I can't stress this enough, this is a very early alpha build. Some of these emulators aren't working top notch, but seeing what they've done so far and if they continue development, this could be an awesome little single board computer for emulation. So first up, we're going to test out some Dreamcast. Now I believe they're using an older version of Raycast here because some of the glitches that I'm seeing in certain games are fixed in the newer builds of Raycast. I truly hope that they continue development on these builds for the RK3399. I'm going to stop talking now. I got a couple other games I want you to see running and we're just going to jump right into them.
Next up, we got some PSP. Always have to test God of War. This is using PPSSPP. You can get back into the menu here. Got everything on low for this game. Go ahead and load up my save state. As you can see, the FPS is listed in the top right hand corner. We're only at 30. Now I can turn on frame skip, and I absolutely hate frame skip, but I'm going to test it out here just to see how it does. So I set it to 2 and it definitely helps out, but I just don't want to play a game with frame skip on. So this is a no-go here. This is one of the hardest games to emulate with PSP. I wasn't expecting it to run at full speed. Here we have Need for Speed Pro Street set at 2x. Now I noticed a lot of ghosting going on and I'm not sure if that was in the original game or not. I just don't remember it being so prominent. I do remember them adding a lot of different effects to the Pro Street games, trying to make it, I guess, feel fast. But this is running pretty good. I did have a couple hiccups here and there. Not bad. And finally, Little Big Planet. Now this is a relatively easy game to emulate with PPSSPP. The Raspberry Pi can actually do this at 1x. We're at 3x right now, and it's handling it just fine. I did want to test out 3DO. I'm going to go with Road Rash here. I know it's not a super hard system to emulate, but I really enjoy playing it. I did turn the music off for this game because it is copywritten, and a few other games in this video you might notice are missing music. It was just turned off in the menu. Next up, some MAME emulation. I did try out Killer Instinct 1 and 2 and I just can't get it to boot yet. So I think we'll just go with WWF WrestleMania. Here's some N64, we'll go with GoldenEye 007. Now this actually works really well in the RK3399 using Android and MooPin64 plus FZ. I can get the resolution way up with these, so hopefully it works just as well here. So it's not playing as well as it does while this is running in Android, but this could be fixed.
This is 1080 snowboarding. As you can see, it's running really well here. I also tested out Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, and Mario Kart. All three of those ran almost flawlessly. I figured while we're here, we might as well go ahead and test Cody. Go to System Information, Summary. As you can see, close to 4 gigs of RAM free. It's not using much at all. Video, OpenGL ES 3.2, and hardware. The CPU sitting at 126 degrees Fahrenheit. This is Fahrenheit, not Celsius. When I first saw this, I freaked out. It's only around 53 degrees Celsius. So I got a few videos here. Got some 4K and a 1080p right here. 55 megabits per second, HD H264.mkv. I test all of these videos on a lot of different devices that I review. This is running really good. I didn't think it would have a problem playing 1080p. So in past tests with the RK3399, I was only able to play the 4K 30fps version of this pretty smoothly. When we move on to 60, that's when we start to see a lot of stuttering and audio desynchronization. I can already tell you right off the bat, we're not playing this at full speed. It's not that bad, but I did notice some stuttering coming down over those trees. Like I mentioned, I've tested this on a lot of devices. It looks like audio is on, so that's good. It's not bad, this is totally watchable. But I want to see if it'll do the 60 FPS version. I don't think it's going to. So let's check it out. 4K 60 FPS MP4. See the stuttering coming down? Guarantee you the audio's off. It's something about this rock chip CPU that does it. Even the Amlogic S912s do it. So yeah, that was way off. And it'll even skip whole parts of this video. It's kind of weird. So if you want to watch some 1080p video and maybe some lower bitrate 4K 30fps, should work fine on here, just like it is. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really love seeing Recall Box and Emulation coming to different chipsets. RK3399 on paper is a really good setup. Unfortunately, Rockchip himself hasn't done much to help out. I will have a full review of the Rock Pro 64 coming up very shortly, but one board that I really want to run this on is the new NanoPi Neo 4. It's such a small board, but it does pack a punch. It has that RK3399, two USB 3.0 ports, built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, full-size HDMI out. The only drawback with this board only has one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, which should be sufficient for most emulators. I would love to have a two gigabyte model of this, but they do not make it. I will be following the development of Recall Box on the RK3399. I'm also going to leave some links in the description to Pine64 Recall Box's website, and I'll even leave some NanoPi stuff down there because this does run on there. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.